Wurlitzer, the PM Reed piano, as they call it. It sounds really great once you do a little bit of messing with the settings. You can see that I've turned up the release level and the release time and the resonances just a bit so I don't get too much clink. And of course, I got the tremolo cranked up. <laughs> Uh, even so, I think this sounds a bit off compared to my Nord. It's not quite, quite warm enough in the mid-ranges. The attack is just a hair too strong, or the decay is still not quite enough. I'm not sure. I've messed with it a lot, and I've never quite gotten it to where I like it. So it's fine if you want to do some really gnarly stuff, like turn up a little uh, distortion. But if you want a mellow ballad, uh, you need a little less bite in the bark than I'm getting here. So there's something somewhere in that mid-range that I hope they'll adjust and work on in later versions. If you go here into the presets, the sounds, there's a couple of sounds I really don't care about, like an electric piano from the 80s wedding. Fine, if you like that sort of thing, I guess. Uh, I think you can tell I don't. But, you know. If you like that. They do have also this Roland electric piano, which sounds interesting to me. And of course, the electric grand, this is a pretty cool one. It has kind of a clavinet type sound with uh, hammers hitting actual strings. <laughs> I am disappointed that they don't have any Honer electric pianos on here. I really like a weird sticky pad sound of a pianet, uh, also an electro piano. I hope that Kumar does a sample of both soon, especially if they can get a good sample of that pianet clav duo, which will lead me to the clav. <laughs> 